it is time again for a haircut. Um, I have not been able to go to the barber for a few months. I just haven't had a chance to get out there. So I have been cutting it myself. Yay. Um, and wanted to film the process for y'all. Um, kind of as like an updated self cut video. So here we go. Okay, so first things first, I get a lot of questions about my clippers. So these are just a simple set of Remington clippers. They come with guards, I think like half all the way up through eight. And I got mine at Walmart. Um, I wish that they were fancier because I wish they had a, um, like a, a guard adjustment that opens it halfway because that would help my fading be up to my liking, but they don't, but it is a good set. It's a good uh, beginner clipper. So today I am gonna start off with a two guard, which is lower than what I usually start with. So I'm hoping that I don't mess my hair up um, because, I, sorry, my son just turned the water on in the background. But like I said, it is kind of hard to like fade it yourself, but we're gonna start with the two guard and see how this goes. So I'm gonna take the clippers and I'm just gonna kind of go up to like right there, all the way around my head and make sure that I get everything nice. Because even though you don't want this line when you're finished, you're gonna start out with a line. And so I'm gonna do this all the way around my head. As you can see, now we have this lovely, lovely line around our heads, but that's where you wanna start it with because now it's time to blend. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my four, my four guard, and I'm gonna use my four guard just to be my next one up, and I'm gonna do it on the sides just to start making all of this be a little bit tighter. And as a side note, remember, I am not a professional. I always recommend going to a professional barber, but when you can't, or if you want to give it a shot yourself, this is one of the better techniques that I have discovered. So just lightly gonna kind of do it up like this. Just start bringing that length down because I'm gonna go back over it again with a different guard. Now I'm gonna use my five guard and I'm gonna come all the way up on the sides just to tighten it the rest of the way. Ah. Ah. Brushing it forward every so often just so I can see where we are. This is a little bit more of a tricky part, but I'm going to take my guard off and I'm going to use my comb and I'm going to try to start blending all of this out. And I recommend getting a grown-up comb, but this is all I have right now. That was nerve wracking. Um, now to finish off the back, I'm gonna go on um, with my six guard. Hey! 
Now to finish off, I'm gonna line it up to make sure that everything is as crisp as I can get it. nerve-wracking when I have to do this with my left hand. Practice makes perfect. And just to taper out my sideburns and my nape a little bit, I'm gonna go on with a one. And there you have it. I'm gonna leave my top alone today, but we can style it real quick. All right, so as always, gonna run my fingers through it first. Um, this is about like day old hair, or maybe two days, I'm not sure. Um, so it's gonna like lay better for sure than um, if it were like freshly washed. Y'all know the drill, we've done this before. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of gel. Um, I've got my Garnier Fruitini style, pure clean styling gel. Literally just gonna take like a touch, like only about that much of that, rub it in my fingertips, and we're gonna rub it down the sides and just kind of run through it just a little bit. Kind of making it a little more textured. Go ahead and form those bangs. And then as always, going to my trusty Freeze It hairspray in the Mega Hold which is the orange label. There's another one with a purple label, but I like a lot of blue. And there you have it. Fresh cut. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you are going to try this at home yourself. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all are awesome.